So this is probably just gonna be a pretty quick video. I'm here on the Shade Room's Instagram where celebrities go to die. And they're running a pretty interesting story today on Black China. I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard that name before. In the early 2010s, she began to rise to prominence as what I would call a professional stripper. And when I say that, I mean this specific group of strippers who have access to famous musicians and professional athletes. You know, back when Drake was actually still making good music, he even name dropped her on his song Miss Me. So she gained a little bit of fame and after a while she began dating Tyga and even had his baby be in like 2012. That is until Tyga broke up with her to date like a 16 year old Kylie Jenner, which actually caused this ongoing beef between Black China and Kylie Jenner. And then she ended up dating and I think possibly even marrying Rob Kardashian. And those two also have a baby together as well. So obviously this is a woman who knows what she wants, okay? She's not that different than Mr. Crab. She loves money. You know, I'm sure in her mind when she got with these different men, it was like Thanos collecting the Infinity Stones. It was like Goku looking for those dragon balls. Balls. Because she must have felt like she finally found her meal ticket. I mean, collecting child support from two different multi-millionaires should be good enough to live a very luxurious lifestyle, right? Well, I guess not because this all leads up to today's story where she says, Yesterday I had to give up three of my cars. My reasons, morals, beliefs, being a single mother, no support, I'm a mama. And then she went on to tweet, single, no support, child support. So what she's basically trying to say here is that it's her two baby daddy's fault that she had these three cars repoed. I mean, the first thought that comes to my mind is, you're not disabled, bitch. Why don't you get out there and work for yourself, work for your own money. And stop relying on money that's supposed to be for your kid to live this lifestyle. That's just fucked up. There's a ton of women out there who are doing this on a much smaller scale every single day. You know, when you actually have clowns like this guy who support this type of behavior, respect. It's time for people in the industry to be honest like she is being. Like, oh yeah, dude, we can tell you're the most honest of them all. That's why you have 67,000 followers but you only get 200 likes on your post. 67 likes on this one with 76,000 followers, you know, something isn't exactly adding up. Either way, guys, this is where she goes on to get absolutely crushed, absolutely decimated, because both baby daddies, Rob Kardashian and Tyga, came with the clap back. First, Rob steps in to say, I pay 37K a year for my daughter's school. I handle every single medical expense. I pay for all of her extracurricular activities. I have my daughter from Tuesday to Saturday, which is five days of the week. Why would I pay child support? And then Tyga came in to also clap her ass one last time. He says, I pay 40K a year for my son's school and he lives with me Monday through Saturday, meaning that he has this kid six days a week. Why would I pay child support? LOL. So it seems like these two baby daddies actually have the very same story. They're the two obviously raising this kid. Honestly, if anything, she should feel lucky that she's not having to pay them child support. You know, she's almost as bad as an absent father here, and this is almost unheard of. Because most of the time in court, if a woman wants to have primary custody under a small kid like under 13, I believe, they pretty much can take the whole cake. You know, the court is very much in favor of not only women, but especially mothers. So for this to be the setup that she has with these two guys really speaks volumes about her and how much she really cares about these children. I mean, it's comical that she's calling herself a single mother with no support saying, I'm a mama. No, you're just a lazy old washed up stripper who thought she was going to come up on two huge bags by collecting this child support. But you didn't know you were actually going to have to take care of the kids to earn that now, did you? You know, if she actually took her time to be a good full time mother, she wouldn't be having this problem. She'd probably be rolling in the dough. OK, I'm thinking at least probably six figures a month between their two salaries. You know, it's just crazy to me that someone like this would even have the audacity to try and play the victim and garner sympathy from the public in this way. At the end of the day, she's irrelevant as fuck and she should be happy that she caught two big fish. Either way, let me know what you guys think about this situation down below. I just thought it was hilarious that the two baby daddies came in to tag team her ass. As always, I do want to thank you guys for dropping a like and sharing with a friend. And as you guys know, it's been your boy, the Tan Superman, and I'm out. Peace!